So I was just going to talk to you quickly about the Neodent uh, Cone Morris connection and the distinct advantages of what that has today uh, in regards to implant dentistry. This platform switch and this Cone Morris connection, less than 16 degrees, it's actually 11 and a half, but it's a friction fit, which is a cold weld that locks the two pieces of uh, metal up to one another and we can't get bacteria down in there so it's great for bone maintenance. The other thing is it's a deep connection. So the abutment goes down 4.1 millimeters into the implant whereas most other systems are usually around about two and a half. Um, this image simply depicts that uh, the, the stress is absorbed in these traversing forces and the actual abutment of the implant itself versus on the screw which is uh, typically done in the other systems. Um, I love this. I love this image because this is six years postoperatively, and I gotta tell you, I'm challenged all the time by doctors saying, "Oh, this is a huge food trap in here." Um, it it certainly is not. The good uh, the good advantage or strong advantage of this connection is, um, you know, you get horizontally attached fibers right to the abutment itself. But when we're actually placing the implant and countersinking it into the bone um, and, and encapsulating that thing, we do have to get a little bit of a longer run so everybody makes fun of it and there's some type of fruit on a tomato on a popsicle stick or something there's absolutely nothing wrong with this type of restoration uh, I certainly challenge you to a lot of other systems out there right if you can see this type of bone maintenance even a year or two out let alone six years all right 